Okay, so welcome to week six, everyone. It's the final week. Um, we've made it. So it's been a long journey to get here. I know there's been a lot of work to do and everyone's done really well. The discussions have been excellent in the discussion forum. Um, so there's just a little bit more to do this week. It's slightly different this week. We've got one topic for you. The topic is on discharge management. Um, there's not so many resources available out there. So what we've decided to do is make it more of a big discussion amongst yourselves. So Please all share your ideas about discharge management, ask questions, um, make sure that we all have a good understanding of, of the needs of our individuals with amputation for when we work on their discharge planning. Um, so yeah, have a good active discussion forum on discharge management this week. And then, and then there's no more topics, but our final task is for you to do a final assignment. And this isn't a test, it's more to just... Um, to encourage you to reflect on the knowledge that you've learnt, your new learning over the past five weeks and to apply that to a clinical situation. So what we'll be asking you to do is do a case presentation on one of your current or past clients or patients and if you aren't currently working with individuals with amputation we have provided some case presentations for you to do a short assignment on. So there are two options, you can choose one of them. You either work with a um, reflect on a clinical situation with a current or past client of your own or use one of the case presentations that we've provided. Um, so we will be asking you to submit these case presentations and case assignments um, by the end of the week. We'll also give you an extra week's grace so you've got two weeks to complete the assignment and to catch up with everything else that you've needed to do if you're a little bit behind. And then to receive your course completion certificate, there are a few other things that you'll need to do this week. You will need to complete the final quiz. The quiz is an 80% pass rate. Um, you'll also need to repeat the competency tool that you did in the pre-course activities week and fill out the evaluation form and tell us how we've done on delivering this course for you. Um, we'll also be checking that you contributed to the discussion forum, so that's important too. Um, you won't be able to get your certificate in the next two weeks. We will be providing you with an application form, an online application form that you'll need to fill in to get your CPD certificate. And that will be made available on Monday the 20th of July. So you won't be able to get your CPD certificate before that date. But we will contact you, email you and put the link in the discussion forum when the application form is available. And then you can just fill in the form and download your certificate straight away. So really easy to get your CPD certificate and your WCPT continuing education units. So that's the two aspects of week six. So contribute to the discussion, uh, sorry, discharge management topic and also do your final assignment and complete all the other small tasks that we ask you to do. I'll also just say um, the course textbooks are only available for free access until the end of the course and they are also only available to purchase at this huge discounted rate that we have for the period of the course. So if you want to have access to the Engstrom book or the Gailey books um, after the course has ended you will need to download your own PDFs before the end of the course. Um, so we recommend you do that sooner rather than later so that you don't miss out because after the course they will not be available at the discounted rate. The other thing to say is continue with the discussion forum, it will be open for a little while. Keep discussing in there, asking questions, there's a huge amount of people in there that you can learn a lot of things from so if you have any questions left over from the course do use the discussion forum um, and make use of that and make use of your colleagues knowledge that you can learn from them. And I think that's it. Uh, it's been a great course, good luck with week six, don't worry too much about the assignment, it's just a reflective task just to get you to apply your new learning to a clinical situation. Um, and we are looking forward to reading them and reading about all that you've learnt. So good luck and we'll see you after week six.